Occupy Wall Street is an ongoing series of demonstrations starting on September 17, 2011 in Zuccotti Park. I'm thrilled. The protests are against social and economic inequality. Well, we have to tell the public that we need help, to tell the uh, authorities that we need more money for disability taxes. So we hope that people would just, you know, listen to us and make something happen. High unemployment, greed as well as corruption, and the undue influence of corporations. People with HIV, if we provide them for housing, then they'll be able to not go back out in the streets and, you know, get back infected and things like that. We just want them to, to support them and get the treatment that they need. According to the CBO, the Congressional Budget Office, between 1979 and 2007, the incomes of the top 1% grew by an average of 275%. This is not fair. The poor is getting poor and the rich is getting richer. During the same period, the 60% of Americans in the middle of the income scale saw their income rise by only 40%. The rich can't take it all. We need to have some of that money for us. In 2007, the richest 1% of the American population owned 34.6% of the country's wealth. Rich should be taxed more. There's no reason why 1% of the people uh, have as much money as they do. People have a right to express their own opinions, but uh, I think that uh, I think it's been overplayed, it's been overemphasized, and it's caused a lot of the civil unrest also, and, and a lot of disturbances to the community. And the next 19% owned 50% of the wealth. Thus, the top 20% of Americans owned 85% of the country's wealth, and the bottom 80% owned only 15. After the Great Recession, which started in 2007, the share of total wealth owned by the top 1% of the population grew from 34.6% to 37.1%. So I both agree and disagree with the Occupy movement. I agree that we need to bring a change to the marketplace, to the way the business is done. Uh, the salaries, some of them are absolutely ridiculous. Where I disagree is uh, if, if we're going to change things, someone has to have answers, and just to bring change doesn't bring change. Just to say they're doing wrong uh, doesn't bring change. And so uh, I think one of the things is how, how can they generate a new idea? We need to have a strong foundation before you can do something with a, as a team and make things happen. So I think one of the things is you change it from the inside, not from the outside.